starting out our afternoon with you guys. Ashley has got her new shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Who took you to get your shoes today? Kaylee. Kaylee. Why did Kaylee get to take you? Because you wanted her to get the discount. Yep, yeah, Kaylee has an employee discount now. So. Got me 25% off those puppies. Made it affordable, right? Yeah. So she got her first pair of high, no, not your first pair of high tops. Well, it's just new. They're just new. Because I wanted to try something different than the yep. same thing. So but she has to have all white for cheer. So we decided to get something that she would still like, even though she likes color. So we went with high tops. I can that's, just get different laces. Yes, we can do different laces. So um, because they're high tops, I literally don't have any socks that are tall enough for her. She always has like little booty socks. So I had to go to Target and get her some new socks. So she's just double checking that that works. And I went and checked my P.O. box, and I got a package from my friend Lydia. And I'm waiting to, actually, we're good friends, so I'm just waiting to see if she actually responded to me and asked if it was okay for me to share it on camera. I currently look like this, and I didn't want to be on camera quite yet, so I'm going to run up and get ready for the evening, not for the day. We're going to go and have um, game night tonight with our friends and uh, celebrate my birthday with them. Oh, that's my dad. My dad is demolishing his basement. Look at the pictures in that in Group Me. Oh, I saw it when we Did were there. Did you see it? It was like ripped apart. When you were there? No, it wasn't. The floor is, but look, he pulled out all the brick. That was... Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we, that was like yeah. always there. It's always there. They have like a, a whole brick... Um, we used to jump What do you call it? Bring my phone up when you're done. We used to... Um, anyway, we have a whole... He meant to put in a like a cast iron stove, like furnace, fireplace type thing in our basement and never actually bought the stove. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't know why all the squishmallows are out here, but they are. Anyway, my dad and my brother are demolishing that entire brick face over the fireplace today. And uh, he's been sending me photos of it. So, let me get ready really quick. We're literally just gonna do eyes. I'm not doing anything fancy tonight. Just going to someone's house to play games and just thought I would, you know, feel a little bit better. I'm trying to like maintain my straight hair by pulling it back so I don't have to do it again for church tomorrow. Much better. Literally, if I can cover my eyes with a little bit of makeup, they don't look so naked. And I added a little bit of blush and uh, some coloring on my cheeks. Okay, let's go downstairs because I am dying to open Lydia's birthday package. Technically, it's my only gift I've gotten so far. No, I have gotten flowers. I'll show you. So my friend Marla brought these flowers to me last night before we went out to dinner. And uh, I love them. They're so fun. Um, hydrangeas are my favorite flower. And these were the colors of my wedding. So that's kind of fun. And then Abby made me this cute card. She's so good at like handwriting. And then everyone signed a cute little note inside. But apparently, Ashley only loves me because I take her to Hawaii. Well, I said <laughs> thank you so... It's not how... <laughs> it says, it's not thank you so much for taking us to Hawaii. Love you so much, Ashley. <laughs> okay, so now you're just giving me a I know, I'm just giving you a hard time, right? Mm -hmm. Got you hairspray got for your cheer one. practice, or your cheer game. She has to have a slicked back ponytail, yeah. top of her head. No, we'll use the hairspray. I also bought myself my own birthday cake. I actually love having strawberry cake, but they literally didn't have anything. And I didn't want white cake with white frosting because they didn't even have chocolate frosting, which no one likes. So I so went with red cheese. velvet. But this girl is going, you love baking. So you're gonna be careful with those shoes. Maybe you take those shoes off. I'm, going to, can dive off. I'm asking her to walk, wear them around the house to make sure that they work and she's comfortable in them even doing some tumbling in them, but not with red velvet cake. No. <laughs> That's not happening. I need to make sure that they work and see if I can take them back if they don't. So take them off Good. and then will you make some cupcakes? I'm gonna take cupcakes to our game night tonight. And then, the other one is and then we might make me a birthday cake You're tomorrow. But I think maybe Abby would like to do that tomorrow. Do you have a whole thing of this? I wasn't sure. 
because you've been making a lot of cupcakes lately. So I went ahead and got these. Battery flashing. Let's go and do the present. Okay, so I also got a cute little card in the mail from Patty. She sent me a cute little message, little late Christmas card, or I just didn't get it, um, with a cute little message inside. And she sent me a cute little card. Sorry about that, my disc was full and uh, cut out on me. So I've got Patty's address. I'm gonna mail her a card, if, just in case I didn't mail you a Christmas card. I think I did, but I'm gonna check my list. Check it twice. And uh, yeah, so thank you for the card. And now to Lydia's package. Hopefully it's okay with her that I open this. I didn't wait for her to respond to me, but I already can tell the Hawaiian print. Everyone knows me so well, and I have a fun thing to announce as soon as I'm, hang on, this is noisy, hang on. I do have a fun thing to announce as soon as I'm done with this. Okay, the tissue is noisy. I just wanted to kind of cut away the noise. You guys know me, the pina colada. Oh, pina colada ice cube, gums, and the mints, uh-uh. I'm hiding these. Everyone takes them and eats them like candy from my purse. Mm -mm. Those ones are mine. All right, so then the next thing is, oh, how fun. It's a Yankee Candle coconut air freshener for my car. You know I'm gonna add that to my, I don't think it'll, I don't know if it'll dangle from my little, um, I've got a lot going on for my little car mirror. We'll see if this can work. Maybe we'll add it to the bunch. And, oh, how cute, vacay mode. It's a car coaster. How fun, I love it. That is so cute, and it's definitely very me. So, thank you, Lydia. And I think there is some more stuff in here. Let's see. Oh, how cute. And guess what? I can officially, I haven't seen these ones yet. How did you find these ones before I did, Lydia? I literally was just, no, I've never had these ones. And I have all of the Hawaiian stickers from the dollar store. You have a better dollar store than I do but I can officially start making my plans because you watched two videos ago. We did start to do our um, Hawaii plans um, that day. Hang on, let me open this card. <laughs> Happy birthday to a friend who's so much fun to be around. Because <laughs> we want to get a cat. So on point. So on point, Lydia. Uh, like, they, we all want a cat. To be fair, I want a cat too. Me too. From the friend you have so much in common with. Like, it's so true, you guys. You guys don't understand. When we met Lydia and Nick in Hawaii, we did not know them before we, we went to Hawaii. She came to my videos, probably from Hawaii videos, looking up what to do in Maui because they had that trip planned together. We just kind of hit it off in the comment section. We were going back and forth, having fun chatting. And then we slowly realized we were gonna be in Hawaii at the same time. Then she found us on the streets in Lahaina on Front Street. Is that Dana Brown? And we hit it off, hit it off immediately. We have, we chat all the time. Um, you guys, it is amazing is it? how, you guys, I don't know if you like truly, truly believe me, but I think the connection that we have as friends here is because we have a lot of things in common, but we're also like different enough that we want to get to know each other. And, and I think that's just fantastic. We have like a thousand uh, long distance friends. I know, I have, I have more in common with my long distance friends than I do with people here in town. Um, anyway, Lydia says, I couldn't pass up this cute card. Wish we lived closer and could hang out. It's so true. Hope you enjoy the few things I put together. Ha hope you have, or have a fantastic birthday. And today is in fact my actual birthday. So very fun to get these gifts from her on today. Um, but yes, we, yes, er, so officially yesterday, but it's two videos ago, uh, Jason and I sat down and we got our airfare booked and we sent off a request to Verbo to book our hotel. We thought it would be fine. <sighs> you guys, it was such a nightmare. I don't know why we have such a problem. Like, we know what we're doing. We know how to book travel. We know how to, we know how to do it, but every single time there is a snafu. So here's the thing. We really wanted to stay at the Westin Ka'anapali Ocean Villas. 
It is literally right next door to the Hanua Kai, closer to Black Rock, but it's literally right next door. And there's three different hotels with, or yeah, three different units within that little section there. Finally figured that out, booked it, well, supposedly, like you have to kind of confirm your dates or whatever. Every single time I went to try and book a unit, every single broker or timeshare owner that I was trying to get them from, they all said, you can only book a seven day stay. That's it. And it has to start on a Saturday or a Sunday. That's it. That's all you can get. And I'm thinking, no, like that's not how life works. I can like go on vacation, vacation for however long I want. And I just thought it was like, oh, okay, maybe that owner didn't have availability for the extra eighth day or ninth day or whatever it was. No, I went through four different brokers at that resort and they each had like four or five different units available. Every single one of them said I couldn't book for more than seven days. And I had to start it on a Sunday and end on a Sunday. And I was so fed up with it. And finally one of them got back to me and said, um, yes, this is the case. There's nothing you can do about it. If you need the eighth day, you have to call the resort themselves and add the day and hope and pray that they'll give you the same room you're currently in. Otherwise you have to move rooms for one day and then check out and leave and go home. I called the resort today and after looking again and finding two more brokers who said the exact same thing, I've been sending off requests for like two days now. Finally called the resort and not only did they say uh, that the customer service person that does that through the timeshare owners, they're not even open and available until Monday, so two days from now. We've already booked our airfare. We had 24 hours to cancel our airfare with the dates that we had. That's expired now. Like we've now lost the chance to be able to cancel our flights. We did get trip insurance, so we, it's possible, but like I was just getting so frustrated. Then I asked them, Okay, so what if I just booked directly through you so that I can get a straight eight days at the resort, don't have to worry about dealing with Verbo and these time, these timeshare owners or whatever. Sold out. <sighs> so even if I call on Monday, I chance not being able to add a day on either end of this trip, um, but I also would then have to risk not getting the same unit and having to pack everything up, move a unit just for one day. And I was just getting so frustrated with it and I gave up on that resort and I was kind of sad about it because I really liked the unit that we were able to find. It was like a, the master bedroom had a king size bed and a couch with a pull out couch and a kitchenette and a table and a lanai in the master bedroom, which of course we're going to give to the kids and then Jason and I will take the king bed other room. I needed to be able to lock the girls in there and Jacob can take the couch out in the living room. So that was why we were really kind of pushing for that resort because that room is exactly what we need. I gave up on it and I started to, we were already overpriced for our budget, but we had just agreed we want to do this. It's part, part of it is Kaylee's senior trip. She decided to not go on a trip alone with dad and I, cause that's awkward. She said, <laughs> and She'd want Jacob to come on that trip anyway. And we said that for the cost, we might as well just combine that trip with this one because that's where she would want to go anyway. And we wouldn't be able to leave the younger two here, or the younger three here. And so this is kind of partially her senior trip. And so for the cost, we're kind of getting more for our buck by combining it and doing a family trip with it as well. So I, today, while Jason was at work, started looking back at the Hanuakai that we had priced ourselves out of, if you remember from that video. And I texted Jason and I had already had to get his credit card number to try and book at the other resort, at the Westin. Um, and I texted him and I said, I'm going to ask for forgiveness later. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to make an executive decision if I find a room that is close to what we were willing to spend last time at the, at the Westin. Just yesterday, we were, having this conversation yesterday or their budget was established yesterday and so i went through all the units at the hanua kai and none of them that had a third bed well a fourth bed technically were in our price budget like even like going a little bit above so 
the unit that I did find that was just a little above our budget has room on the floor for an air mattress. Confirmed with the kids that that's the scenario that we're in. Um, but they absolutely love the Hanuakai, so they were like, done. Like, we don't even care if we're on a mattress on the floor. We want to be at that resort. Well, Kaylee and Abby were fine with it, but Of course they're fine with it, because they have a king bed. But we, it was but, our kind of room. But don't you agree that having a private room with an air mattress is still better? Yeah, but because we can steal their bed anytime. Abby was like, can we just put them in the closet somewhere like we used to be able to do? And I was like... They're not 18 months old. Like, you can't put yeah, them in the closet. Yeah, she's like, oh, well, we may have lock-in. Like, yeah, because lock we used to get, like, a, a two-bed or a one-bedroom unit, and Kaylee and Abby would sleep on the the couch, and we would put the babies in the closet in our master bedroom <laughs> in a pack-and-play. So, anyway. So, I went ahead and booked it, and we are now staying at the Hanuakai, our absolutely favorite re uh resort in all of Maui. I'm sure that there's other resorts that are fantastic, um, but they're actually more expensive than the Hanuakai, surprisingly. So uh, it's going to be a fantastic unit. Um, found the one that has room on the floor. Not all of the units had room on the floor for the air mattress, but I was able to get the cheapest one with the most space. And so for the only cost of a hundred bucks to get the air mattress from Costco, it's going to make it so that we can all fit in there. But I am also going to search on my Facebook groups in order to see if anyone has an air mattress already. I really hate doing the buy something and then not being able to like do anything with it. I can give it away to someone else, but I'm hoping that someone has one to offer up that they've done the same thing and we can kind of pass around air mattresses. So anyway, I'm going to go back and do um, editing over there. I have a cute little candle. Look at that ambiance. I've got a Coke. I've got a candle that's a pineapple candle. Let me show you. It, it's such a cute candle because, I mean, it's, it, you'll see. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's a pineapple. Oh, you can't see it. It's a pineapple papaya candle and also a little spray as well. I got this with a gift card that I had had. And so I splurged and bought that for myself. I mean, I didn't pay for it. Um, so it kind of goes with my little ambiance down here. I don't know why I haven't lit this candle for a while. I kind of forgot about it. Probably just because it was the holidays and I didn't light tropical candles during the holiday. But I've got to sit back down and edit before we go play games. I kind of got myself into a predicament because I had footage, um, I, if you saw it earlier, <laughs> I ran out of disk space. Oh, I don't want to do that. Shoot. Keep that going. Um, I ran out of disk space on the current disk that I'm working on. And um, so I had to switch to another one. And then oh, my sister, a side note, can you even see her? Hang on. She's literally going to kill me. <laughs> her and her roommate went and saw um, a man called Otto. <laughs> They're just crying their eyes out. Why did you tell us to see such a sad movie? Um, but anyway. They liked it. The disc, I ran out of space, and so I grabbed another one, but it's not a big disc. It's just kind of like my, my backup one, and so I don't do very much on it. Like, I don't want to, like, keep using that one. And so it's this one right here. It literally is not very big. It's like 8 gigs, and then that would, like, barely make one video or two videos, and then I'd have to redo all this again. So I don't like to use this one very much. And so I wanted to be able to get back onto the one I had and I dumped all the footage off and I started editing a video and it was fine, but the, the videos or the, the, the files started to act all glitchy, literally like actually like kind of shaking on the screen as I opened them. And then some of them were kind of disappearing and not showing up and not transferring correctly and so I was getting worried and so I literally had to edit really fast the two videos that were on that the disc anyway I had to hurry and edit them to make sure I had all the footage make sure it was fine before I formatted the disc so that I could continue filming with that said disc but I format it and get more space put onto it <laughs> and so I literally let it's been a couple hours and I have to show you out here what Ashley is doing and we only have 10 minutes before I have to go. We're going to um, get Abby from work. She's at work right now. And then I have to rush her over to 
Let's see, that one is still uploading. Now that you guys know how to edit a video, you know what I'm doing. That one's not quite done yet. I'll have to come back to that. I have to rush her over to her driving like class. She actually has to go on a drive tonight. And so, um, but she's gonna be late for it if we don't hurry and get her. She has to leave work early. Um, and then we're gonna go straight to our friends and play games. In fact, can you go get oh crud? I think it's over there. Oh. Um, but let me show you what Ashley did. Okay, Ashley made my cupcakes. <laughs> They're cute. I might actually see if there's some sprinkles that I can throw on them. And then we're gonna put them on a tray when we get to our friend's house. Why is that wobbly? There's a rice on it. <laughs> so we're just gonna take that in the tray. One, two, three, there's eight. Yeah, there's eight of us. It's only one each, but she didn't get the rest of these, um, uh, what do you call it, frosted. I might just have to steal one for myself right now because they actually taste really good. I had a little lick of the frosting, so I might make one for myself really fast. I literally have to go in 10 minutes here. She made these cute little cupcakes for me. She's quite the baker, actually. I'm turning into like... Okay, Ashley, I need you to bake some cupcakes. Abby, can you make me some brownies? <laughs> I don't have to be in the, I just need them to cook. That's what I need them to do. I mean, they can make pasta, they can make, like Abby can make a lot of stuff, but they don't like to follow recipes necessarily. So I think I should just make sure that these are gonna be safe for our friends, right? Just need to taste test. Mmm, that's fun, that's good. That'll be good. I gotta find something somewhat healthy to take with me. Do I need to? It's my birthday, should I just take cupcakes? Usually I try and take a savory and a sweet. I think this is all I'm gonna take. Happy birthday to you.